Hi, I'm Judy Tayabji. I want to talk to you about proportional representation. Not because it's a fun or sexy topic, but because all of us in British Columbia have a vote that we're supposed to participate in. And this vote is actually going to decide how we vote in the next election. And from where I'm standing, I'm concerned. I actually like the idea of proportional representation in theory. In principle, you can actually always find ways to improve democracy. But my biggest concern about this vote is it's a mail-in ballot. There's no scrutineers. I could literally go to my neighbors, collect their ballots, and vote the way I want to vote, mail it in, no one's even going to know. And you know, sometimes I've even toyed with the idea of doing a video where I do just that, go around and collect them. But at the end of the day, if I put them in the mail, and had that on video, well, that wouldn't be a good idea at all, because then you'd know that I'd committed fraud. But I'm just saying it would be that easy to do. So what is proportional representation? Well, the answer is it depends. And what are we voting on? It depends. And how much input we have we had into it? Well, there are people who very legitimately in British Columbia argue passionately in favor of proportional representation. And I've seen some of them over the decades, and I promise you some of them are the best people you've ever met. They are true believers in democracy, and they really want the world to be a better place. And I have huge respect for them for that. And so for them, they feel like this could be their last chance to re-engineer how we vote to try to get what they think is a better outcome. The system we have right now is called first past the post. What that means is whoever gets the most votes wins. You don't have to have a majority, you don't have to have 50% plus one, you just have to have more votes than any of the other candidates. And when I was elected MLA in 1991, I think I only had like 34% of the vote, but I won. I think I did a pretty good job. I might be a little biased. But anyway, uh, the point is that people want to change. And they voted that way. The vote broke down, and I was able to win that way. So in what we're choosing this fall, we may find that the ballot that you're going to encounter in the next general election looks very different from the one we have right now. And there are a lot of people who've examined the options that we're going to be looking at who say, the new way of voting is going to favor urban areas over rural areas. They're very concerned that the way in which we're putting it in place doesn't have enough transparency. What I want you to know is this is critically important. You're going to get something in the mail. Don't throw it out. Don't ignore it. It's not going to be electronic. So for any millennials, you know, if they're eligible to vote, they have to register to vote, and then they have to fill out a piece of paper. And hopefully they remember how to do that, because that piece of paper has to go into the mail. Remember the mailbox? Remember Canada Post? Well, still relevant in this case. So I'm opposed to this vote at this time in this way but I'm very much in favor of the conversation about proportional representation. I'd like to hear from you if you're in favor or if you're opposed, but in this vote, when I mail in my ballot, I will be saying no. I'm Judy Tayabji, and that's my opinion. What's yours?